The Monday test saw Russia obliterate a decommissioned Cosmos spy satellite, producing more than 1,500 pieces of orbital debris. Some of the material came dangerously close to the International Space Station, sparking an emergency evacuation of the seven astronauts on board to their docked return capsules. Although the ISS was left unscathed, Russia has come under intense fire from the scientific community for recklessly endangering the astronauts' lives, two of whom are Russian. Following the incident, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson published a furious statement shaming Russia's irresponsible and destabilizing actions. He said, with its long and storied history in human spaceflight, it is unthinkable that Russia would endanger not only the American and international partner astronauts on the ISS, but also their own cosmonauts. Their actions are reckless and dangerous, threatening as well the Chinese space station and the Taikonauts on board. Found more than 250 miles 408 kilometers above the planet's surface, the ISS orbits the Earth at speeds of more than 17,000 miles per hour. Any space debris that is created in orbit will reach similar if not greater speeds, which means even tiny bits of metal or plastic will pack a great punch upon impact. And the ISS is not exactly built to withstand such impacts, according to an aerospace engineer who works with NASA on tracking space debris. John Crassidus, a sunny distinguished professor at the University at Buffalo in New York, has claimed it would not take a large hole to completely destroy the space station's integrity. This is particularly worrying as earlier this year NASA said there are already half a million pieces marble-sized, 0.4 inches, bits of junk racing around the planet. Speaking to Live Science, Professor Crassidus said, it doesn't take a very large hole to basically explode the space station. The expert added that a hole as small as just 0.4 inches across could cause enough irreparable damage that could wipe out the space station. The amount of space debris has been growing at a worrying rate since the dawn of the space age. Space debris or space junk describes everything from defunct satellites to rocket stages and natural objects. In a report published this May, NASA said there are presently more than 27,000 pieces of space debris that are being tracked by the Department of Defense's Global Space Surveillance Network, SSN, sensors.